Hi, everybody. Welcome to the fall semester of 2021. My name is Astrid Northrup. I am division chair of the STEM division and professor of engineering science at Northwest College. Uh, this semester, I will be teaching three courses, mechanics of materials, dynamics, and statics all of which you will find, whichever class you're in or whatever combination of classes you're in, will be on your student portal. So this is just a short introductory video, to kind of get used to the environment of how our classes are going to look, and also so that we can have an introduction so that if you have any questions, uh, you'll know how to reach me. So first of all, in order to access your courses, you need to go to your student portal, which is found at my.nwc.edu. And at that point, uh, you'll log in with your student account. So it'll look slightly different than my uh, faculty account, but similar to this. Then underneath the Moodle logo will be whatever classes you're taking that have a Moodle component. So uh, I'm first opening up uh, Mechanics of Materials and you'll see what your class is going to look like. I'll talk a lot about mechanics and materials and I'll briefly talk about statics and dynamics because the structure of all three of the courses is the same. So I'm using mechanics of materials as a model. Um, the first thing is you'll notice that the class is divided into different sections. So the first section uh, for us is some introductory material. The video that I'm recording right now will be available to you right here. And uh, then there's some other introductory stuff that I'd like you to take a look at. Uh, this is a Zoom link uh, that you can use to talk to me if we have an arranged office hour. Uh, for statics, we have an arranged time, which we'll talk about. For the other classes, for mechanics, materials, and dynamics, we have to make an appointment because we don't have a set time. Um, the course syllabus is available here. There's a template for homework for all three classes in each of your pages that will show you how I like your homework to be turned in. And then there is a scan of a sheet of engineering composition paper. And that's what I want you to turn your homework in on. So taking a quick look at the course syllabus, you'll see that you have my uh, cell phone number, my office number, and my email, and what our website is and the basic introductory material, uh, the book that we'll use, uh, and also how you will be graded. In each of these classes, 10% of your course grade is from your homework assignments, 10% is from quizzes, 40% is from a proctored two-hour midterm exam, and 40% is from a proctored two-hour final exam. Now, if you're not in Powell, or if it's not convenient for you to be proctored face-to-face, -face, I'll proc proctor you over Zoom. And once again, because this is a, an asynchronous class, if you're in dynamics or mechanics of materials, we'll have a range of times, so you won't have to be at one particular time that you can take that exam. All right, so what I'd like you to do is to look at each one of these elements um, anything that says hidden, you're not going to see on your page, uh, but everything will be here. Then you'll see that the first section in Mechanics and Materials is a statics review. So we have introductory material. The lecture will also be available here. And then there are different elements. Uh, we have some PDF files, we have some pictures, and we have lectures. So when you're preparing to do the first homework for the statics review, you will watch the lectures, look at the attached material, and then um, at the bottom, you'll see it says submit uh, review homework method of joints method of sections. Now in statics and dynamics, this is a little bit different, but just speaking specifically for mechanics and materials, you'll see that you do these problems from the handout. Now that means that you have to find the handout up here. And so if you look out here, you'll see that we have lecture notes uh, for methods of section. And up here you'll see lecture notes two and three for method of joints. Okay, so if you take a look at method of joints handout, just click on it and it will open up in a little bit. You'll see that this is actually a handout and it's chapter six. So this is the first part of the handout that we're talking about. 
just going over the process of using the method of joints, and you'll see that there are some homework problems at the end. Those homework numbers correspond to the homework numbers in the homework assignment. Similarly, when you go down here to Lecture Notes 4, Method of Sections, you'll see some more homework problems at the end of this handout. So those are the handouts that I'm referring to when you're doing the homework from the method of joints and the method of sections. So you'll turn in those problems together. Each time you have a section at the bottom, you'll have a tab that says submit something. Here, submit the review and it's due September 10th. So your first homework assignment is due September 10th and it consists of these four problems from those handouts. Now, one of my students a long time ago told me uh, the key is to remember submit for success. Every time that there's a submit button, that's where you're going to be turning something in to me. So, like I said, for um, for mechanics and materials, we'll have this review. We'll do chapter one. All the lectures are here, right? Uh, chapter two, there are some more lectures and a submit homework. Then there's a quiz. So in each one of these classes, the process goes either two or three homeworks, and a quiz, two more homeworks and the midterm exam, two more homeworks, another quiz, two or three more homeworks and the final exam. Okay, so in other words, when we're getting ready for the midterm, we have homework for the method of joints and sections, chapter one, chapter two, then a quiz covering chapters one and two. Then we do a chapter three homework, chapter four homework, and then the midterm exam. And like I said, I can proctor you face-to-face -face or via Zoom, and the end date for completing this information is October 22nd, which is the midterm midpoint of our semester. So when you get to this point, you call me or email me or send me a text, and we'll make an appointment, schedule your midterm exam, uh, and you will take the midterm exam and submit it here within two hours. In other words, you're allowed two hours to finish that off. Okay, so I have everything posted uh, on our web pages up until the midterm. After midterm, I will post again. Now, if you look at uh, dynamics, you'll see it's similar. We have a syllabus, homework template, and the lectures and so forth. So once again, you watch the lectures, you do the homework, submit, when it says submit, the blue buttons. Um, in this class, we just have two homeworks, a quiz, two more homeworks, a midterm. Then after midterm, we'll have two homeworks, a quiz, uh, two homeworks in a midterm. And once again, the dates are quite similar. But each one of those homeworks and quizzes tells you the day that you need to submit by. If you're a little late, it's not going to cost you a lot, but those are the days that you'll need to meet in order to keep on schedule for the class and to finish by the end of the semester without having to take an incomplete. All right, now statics is the only class that has an uh, a synchronous element. So it's structured the same way. We have um, the syllabus, we have the homework template, uh, we have engineering comp paper, but we also have a daily schedule. So the time scheduled for statics to meet is Monday, Wednesday, Friday at one o'clock. We don't meet every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The meetings are for you to ask me questions. And some days we don't Zoom at all. And sometimes we start late. So if you look at the schedule, for example, Wednesday, September 1st, which is tomorrow, as I'm recording this video, we don't have any videos to watch. And we start our Zoom meeting at 1 o'clock. So if you're in statics, I'll see you at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. On Friday the 3rd, you watch two lectures from this web page, numbers two and three, and then we have no Zoom. Labor Day, the following Monday, there's no Zoom or no class. Wednesday the 4th, you watch video four and there's no Zoom. Then on Friday, September 10th, you watch video number five. We don't meet at one, we meet at 1.30, and you, have hand, you hand in a homework, uh, which is a unit conversion handout. So you follow the schedule, and these are the times that we start meeting and the days that we meet. And part of your assignment, the reason we meet late is because um, there are videos. So for example, the statics lecture number two, this day is not correct, um, but it talks about unit conversions. The content is correct. But so you watch these two videos and then it says submit homework number one, 
which is the unit conversion handout. Okay, there, it means you do the whole thing, but the unit conversion handout is right here. So everything is contained on the page, uh, except your textbook. Now, for the textbook, I can download some of the chapters if you are if you don't have your um, if you don't have your answer key or if you don't have your book yet. All right, so here, this is the unit conversion handout. Um, the two lectures explain how I want you to do these. If you've had chemistry, which is not a requirement for this course, but if you've had chemistry, you've done this before, maybe in an engineering problem solving or another math class, you've done this before. But in any case, uh, that's what that refers to. So once again, you look for the name submit, then you submit that um, homework. So the next thing you would submit then would be the chapter two homework and then the quiz over chapters one and two, uh, which also includes the unit conversion handout. Then here's the homework submission for chapter three, chapter four, and then the midterm exam. Now I'll have some times up here. These are from past semesters, but I'll have some times up here when uh, you can take the exam or we'll discuss that in class. And then once again, after um, midterm, we'll get started with the remaining half of the semester. So uh, this is sort of how we get started and how the class uh, works and how we, how we go through the entire class uh, together. So what I would like you to do, if you're in statics, I'll see you tomorrow, uh, September 1st, Wednesday at one o'clock. If you are in dynamics or mechanics and materials, please get a hold of me and we'll discuss these things as uh, you need discussion. We'll spend as much time as you need working through the material. Uh, the other thing is, please don't hesitate to text me. My cell number is 307-272-1833. Students text me all the time and uh, it works very well for our purposes. So anytime that you need to talk to me, please do so. The last thing I wanna tell you is I'm going to email this video to you with a link to this video. In the future, I will not email videos. I will just have them on your Moodle page for you. But I just wanna make sure if anybody is not in their Moodle page yet or has not set up their student portal, that they'll still be able to watch this video and get going. So first job, get that uh, student portal open. Second job, make sure that you can access Moodle. And third job, make sure you get a hold of me if you need any help. All right, we're off to a great semester uh, and I look forward to working with you.